Wow, look at the ocean waves. Have you ever been to the beach? Did you see the waves? The ocean moves up and down. It's like it's breathing. These are called tides. Tides are so cool. The ocean is like a giant bathtub. Sometimes the water is high and sometimes it's low. That's because of the tides. The tides change every day. Sometimes they are high and sometimes they are low. It's a natural roller coaster for the ocean. Let's learn more about these amazing tides. Tides are like the ocean playing hide and seek with the beach. Sometimes the water comes up high on the sand. That's high tide. Then the water goes back down. That's low tide. Now we can see more of the beach. High tide and low tide happen every day. It's like the ocean is taking a deep breath in and then letting it out. But why does the ocean do that? Let's find out. Did you know that the moon can control the ocean? It's like a magic trick, but it's actually science. The moon has a superpower called gravity. Gravity is like an invisible force that pulls things together. The moon's gravity is strong enough to pull the ocean water towards it. That's what causes high tide. The moon's gravity is like an invisible rope pulling the ocean up and down. Section 4. High Tide, Low Tide. How do tides work? Have you ever wondered why the ocean's water levels change throughout the day? Let's dive into the fascinating world of tides and uncover the mystery behind this natural phenomenon. Remember how the Earth is always spinning? This constant rotation plays a crucial role in the movement of our oceans. The Earth spins on its axis, completing one full rotation every 24 hours. As the Earth spins, different parts of it face the Moon. The Moon's gravitational pull affects the water in our oceans. When a part of the Earth is directly facing the Moon, the Moon's gravity pulls the water towards it, creating what we call a high tide. When a part of the Earth faces the Moon, the Moon's gravity pulls the water towards it. That's high tide. This gravitational pull causes the water to bulge outwards, leading to higher water levels along the coastlines. But there's another high tide on the opposite side of the Earth. This happens because the Earth is spinning and the water on the opposite side is also affected by the centrifugal force created by this rotation. That's because the Earth is spinning, and the water wants to keep moving. The centrifugal force causes the water to bulge outwards on the side of the Earth opposite the Moon, creating a second high tide. The parts of the Earth that are not facing the Moon experience low tide. When the gravitational pull of the moon is not directly affecting a particular area, the water levels drop leading to low tide, the water is lower there. During low tide the water recedes, exposing parts of the seabed, tide pools and various marine life that are usually hidden underwater. So, as the earth spins, we get high tide, low tide, high tide, low tide, it happens every day. This rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water levels is a continuous cycle that occurs twice a day, every day, shaping the coastal landscapes and influencing marine ecosystems. Section 5. When can we see the tides? We can see high tides and low tides at the beach. The tides are the regular rise and fall of the sea level caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun. This fascinating natural phenomenon happens every day and can be observed if you know when and where to look. High tide is when the water comes up high on the sand. During high tide, the beach might look smaller because the water covers more of the sand. This is a great time to enjoy the waves if you love swimming or surfing, as the water is deeper and the waves can be more exciting. Low tide is when the water goes down. When the tide is low, the beach appears much wider, revealing more sand and sometimes even tide pools. These tide pools can be full of interesting sea creatures like starfish, crabs, and small fish, making it a perfect time for exploring and discovering marine life. High tides happen about every 12 hours. This means that if you see a high tide in the morning, you can expect another high tide roughly 12 hours later, which will be in the evening. The cycle of tides is predictable and follows a regular pattern. So, if there's a high tide in the morning there will be another one at night. This regularity makes it easier to plan your beach activities. Whether you prefer the bustling waves of high tide or the calm, expansive sands of low tide, you can choose the best time to visit the beach based on the tide schedule. Scientists can tell us exactly when the tides will be high or low. They study the movements of the moon and the sun, as well as other factors like the shape of the coastline and the depth of the ocean, to predict the tides accurately. They use special charts and tools. These tools include tide tables and tide prediction software, which help them forecast the exact times of high and low tides. This information is crucial for many activities including fishing, boating, and even coastal construction. Next time you go to the beach, check the tide times. 
Knowing the tide schedule can enhance your beach experience. You can plan to build sandcastles during low tide when there's more sand available, or go swimming during high tide when the water is deeper. Then you'll know when to build sandcastles and when to look for seashells. Low tide is perfect for finding seashells and other treasures that the ocean leaves behind. So make sure to check the tide charts and plan your beach day accordingly for the best experience. Section 6. Why are tides important? Tides are really important for our planet. They help keep the ocean clean and healthy. Tides also help animals that live in the ocean. Some animals like crabs and starfish live in tide pools. Tide pools are little pools of water that are left behind when the tide goes out. It's like a tiny ocean adventure. Tides also help boats move around. When the tide is high, it's easier for big boats to get in and out of harbors. Wow, tides are super helpful. Section 7. Fun Facts About Tides Tides are one of the most fascinating natural phenomena on Earth. They are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by the combined effects of the gravitational forces exerted by the moon, the sun, and the rotation of the Earth. Let's dive into some fun facts about tides. The sun also helps with tides but the moon is much closer to Earth so its gravity is stronger. The gravitational pull of the moon creates what we call tidal bulges, which are areas of higher water levels. These bulges move around the Earth as the moon orbits us, causing the regular rise and fall of the tides. The sun's gravitational pull also affects tides but to a lesser extent. When the sun, moon, and Earth align, we experience spring tides which are higher than usual. Conversely, when they form a right angle, we get neap tides, which are lower. Did you know that the largest tides in the world happen in Canada? Specifically in the Bay of Fundy, which is located between the provinces of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. The tidal range here can reach up to 16 meters or about 53 feet. This incredible phenomenon is due to the unique shape and size of the bay, which amplifies the tidal effects. They can be as tall as a house. Imagine standing on the shore and watching the water rise to such heights. It's a breathtaking sight and a powerful reminder of the forces of nature at work. These massive tides can also create tidal bores which are waves that travel up rivers and estuaries against the current. Some people use the power of tides to make electricity. Tidal power is a form of hydropower that converts the energy obtained from tides into useful forms of power, mainly electricity. This is done using tidal stream generators or tidal barrages. It's a clean and renewable source of energy that has the potential to provide a significant amount of power to coastal communities. It's like a natural battery. Just as a battery stores energy for later use, tidal power stations harness the energy of the tides and convert it into electricity that can be used when needed. This sustainable energy source is gaining popularity as we look for ways to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and combat climate change. Tides can change the shape of beaches. The constant movement of water can erode coastlines, reshape sand dunes, and create new landforms. Over time, the action of the tides can significantly alter the landscape, making beaches dynamic in ever-changing environments. Over time, they can move sand and rocks around. Tides are amazing. They play a crucial role in coastal ecosystems, providing habitats for various marine life and influencing the distribution of nutrients in the water. The ebb and flow of the tides create unique conditions that support a diverse range of organisms. They remind us that even though the ocean is big and powerful, it still listens to the moon. The rhythmic dance between the Earth, Moon, and Sun creates the tides, a beautiful and awe-inspiring natural phenomenon that connects us to the cosmos. So next time you're at the beach, take a moment to appreciate the tides and the incredible forces that shape our world.